Welcome to Steampunk Tuesday. I'm Ian. And this, this is, is Mike. Mike. <laughs> We've had five goals at this this morning. It's not going well. I have a fantastic project for you today. A very weird and wonderful or wonderfully weird project. Yeah, I don't think you could have got it any more weird if you tried. Definitely a project for the boys and girls out there that love their weird. Indeed. Right. Let's get cracking then. I think that worked. Imagine it's 1888. It's a dark winter's evening. You're travelling along the streets to go to the theatre. The theatre of curiosities. I'm scared. So am I. Let's get out of this black and white and go to colour. You ready? <laughs> yep. There we go. That's better. Okay, so this journal is entitled The Theatre of Curiosities, The Strange, The Weird, The Wonderful. I'll tell you a little bit about it before we flick through it. It's based on a fictitious theatre, travelling theatre, that travels round Victorian England with performers who have particular abilities, traits and wonderment. Oh, sounds fantastic. Incredibly steampunk, incredibly weird. A couple of the characters are not for the faint-hearted, <laughs> but we will get to those in a, in a short while. Yeah. The journal itself measures an inch and a half deep. Yeah, it's not as wide as the other ones that you have no, it's in not. the past, but it's still cram-packed. It's with... got three signatures rather than five, yeah. and that is reflected in the price, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So on the front we have the front plate, which tells you the, the, the theatre of curiosities, the strange, the weird, the wonderful. Nothing on the front that tells you what's inside. I want it no. to be a surprise. So just go around the, the outside of the book then. So what colour is the, the cover? The cover is diesel, dark diesel blue. Which I love. It's like a pe dark peacock colour and you'll see the relevance of that in a little while. Yeah. Metal corners. Mm -hmm. Level plate. Level plate, the property of. So you can write your own name on yeah. there. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay, you ready? Go on then. Okay. Da, da, da. Ooh. Okay, let's start off with the first character. This, she's a very, very, very interesting lady. Her name is, let me just find her on my list, Miss Patricia Beresford. Oh, lovely. Miss Patricia Beresford is a wonder of the modern age. She was born with the head of a peacock, the wings of a butterfly, and the torso and body of a human. Oh. So she travels round with them. She can also converse in both human speech and talk to the birds and the butterflies. Fantastic. So she's the first one of our, of our ensemble, as it were. Excellent stuff. So she's on the inside front page. Mm -hmm. and then I've got a lovely page there, part of the tray, which has got the flowers on and the keys. Lovely. Then we come to this bit. The show is about to begin. Please, this way, please. And you've actually got some full tickets in here. And they all feature characters. They all feature characters from the theatre. Love it. And it says, not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> Excellent stuff. What's on the back of those? The back of those is seen right on them, journal on them, there are lines. Mm -hmm. It's grid paper. Grid paper, yeah. The camera should pick yeah. that up. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll come to our second individual. This is Miss Gabrielle Santorini. Miss Gabrielle Centrini was is a woman with a human hybrid butterfly body and the lower half of a siren. Oh. Sailors beware. Absolutely. She's quite a strange character. She's a Love it. got her dark glasses on. Look at the next page. This is a little little pocket with a picture of um, Countess Isabella Dupont. We'll come to her in a little while. Absolutely. This is Sir George Jacobson. Sir George Jacobson is part of the travelling crew, or cast as it were. Um, let me find him. Sir George, after a freak accident with time travelling, mm -hmm. he was a bit of a, an inventor and discovered time travel. Right. But it did go horrendously wrong for him. He was catapulted to every moment in time from the past, from the future and brought back again. Whoops. So his head is completely full of what's going to happen in the future and what's happened in the past. Right. You come to the show, you see him and he will tell you your future and your past. Oh, freaky. I know. Then we have, this was, This is a part of the exhibition that travels with the show, mm -hmm. the human flying machine prototype. 
This was actually acquired by the um, impresario that runs this theatre. Right. He acquired, I have to say acquired, because this stolen sounds really bad. <laughs> but you'll understand why he, he acquired it. Uh, the device was developed and conceived by scientists working for Professor James Moriarty. Ah. Um, the subject that flew this device perished. Right. Um, not safe then. It's not safe at all. Um, also on the fact that um, Professor Moriarty shot him down to see what would happen. Right. So not nice man. Nice man. Yeah. Well, we know that from, from uh, various others. Okay. We have a tag here. Journaling tag. The automatic human. I'll tell you about um, this lady and the machine in a little while. It is the world's first automaton. So that tips into there. We've seen Patricia already. Marcus Woodgood. This man didn't have a good time. No. So Marcus Woodgood. We find him on my list. Not many people have heard of Marcus Woodgood or even seen him, to be honest. His ability is if he concentrates really, really hard, and I'm talk going to a trance, mm -hmm. his skin becomes completely transparent. Ugh. And you can see all his workings and his blood pumping through his veins. Nice. Well, the Victorians loved this kind of thing, didn't they? They did, yeah. So go. You did say this was weird. I did say it was weird. Then we have the automatic human again. When we come to the cards, I'll tell you all about, okay. about, about that one. This is Isabella Dupont. Mm -hmm. Lady Isabella Dupont is a, no, is a... I think she's a French noble lady. Let me find her on my list. She is a legend. Is the, they call her the Countess. Right. The Countess, originally from Paris, has wooed the public and royalty alike from this country to Russia and beyond. Her fantastic ability is she concentrates, puts out a hand, and flowers will grow in thin air around her. Very nice. Mm. There must be some catch to it, but, but everybody that's seen her has said it is amazing. Beautiful. Truly amazing. It's a lovely gift to have. It is, isn't it? I prefer that being transparent. Yes. Another exhibition, another part of the exhibition at the theatre is to look at the moon. Every, every member of the audience can stargaze and see into the heavens, and they may even see the man in the moon. Ooh, very nice. Come back, to, come back to the world's first automaton when we come to a card. The strangest and most weird person is Miss Cressida Fox Talbot. But I'll tell you when we come to her, she became... Well, you have come to her. Oh, I have come to her. Sorry, that's stupid me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, be, I'm beguiled by Don't it. keep us in suspenders. Oh, suspenders. Miss Cressida Fox Talbot, she was out at sea one day and she fell into the water. Right. But being a practitioner of magic, mm -hmm. she cast a spell. Very wise. Not really. It all went rather badly wrong in the <laughs> incantation. Right. She got part of it mixed up as she fell into the water and was transformed into a kraken. Ah, hence the tentacles. However, she read it out, she read it incomplete and was changed into a kraken butterfly human hybrid. Ooh, that's a combination for you. The reason she was transformed into that was there was a kraken that tipped the boat up and a butterfly was flying overhead. Ah. And it was enveloped in the field of her casting the spell. Right, okay. So she's not as well as she might be. No. She has seen better days, but she's an incredibly popular member of the cast. I can imagine. Sir Charles Clayton. Yes. He's the we, tenth member of our cast. We've seen him before. We have seen Sir Charles before. Yes, Sir Charles has just joined after having a serious accident. Right. Sir Charles Clayton. He was, having, he was struck by lightning whilst out hot air ballooning. Ah. Being a gentleman of leisure. Obviously. He can travel around and hot air balloon. And he got struck by lightning. When he woke up, however, he has the ability to generate his own electricity. Lucky man. It can light light bulbs, it can give people electric shocks, it can generate lightning from his fingertips. Fantastic. Very, very low electricity bills then. Very low electricity bills. <laughs> we've come to the centre now. So we've, in here we've got a large, there's some large postcard type mm -hmm. journaling cards. That's got Sir George on it. And then there's each one about the Countessa. There's one for every member of the cast. And then we have the opening journaling cards. Opening journal cards. You can write inside 
and right on the back as well. Excellent. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the first automaton because you've got to the middle of that first signature then, so you're going to start to repeat back on the characters, aren't you? Yeah, but the characters, yeah, the characters. The first automaton. I'll see if I can find her card. The first automaton. She was towards the front. Yeah, but there's a card for her as well. Oh, she's there. Sorry, yeah. That is the first. World, that's the world's first automaton. She got a light bulb for her head as well. She has. What's, what's clever about her is, I'm saying her, we think it's a her, on account that she appears to be wearing ladies' clothing. Mm -hmm. But a lot went Can't on. Tell in, nowadays. A lot went on in the Victorian <laughs> times. She's few, very futuristic. You can ask her, it is her, you can ask her any question and she will give you the answer. Oh, right, okay, like a, like a human data bank. Yeah, like a human data bank, yes. So on this side we have Sir George Jacobson and his opening card. I love the little pictures in the back of them as well. <laughs> Miss Patricia Beresford. I mean, these would be great if you frame them up and put them on the wall. They, they do look really, really good and they'd fit in a standard photograph frame, wouldn't they? They would indeed. So that's that one. And come back through. The first. We're still in the first. Uh, we're still in the first signature. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. I think I've actually got a four back six picture frame here. We have Gabriel Santorini here. Just have a look at the size. Okay, I'll come back to that. They're all the way through. They're all different. So, Gabriel Santorini there with her journaling card. Mm -hmm. The pockets are a little bit bigger, so you can get a lot of stuff tucked into them. Yeah. And then we have little tags. I love those journaling tags. I do really, as well. really good. And I love the fact that you've introduced. Like the floral element to it as well. Yeah, so, it brings it, makes it a little bit lighter. Yeah, I mean, this is a great journal design for those that like their weird, but also tailoring or, or teetering just on that Halloween y kind of. Yes, it is. Well, I mean, it? we're very steampunk as well, obviously. Yeah, extremely. And we've got the card for Marcus. And we've got Sir George again. And we've got the Thick to Crosses there. There's the car, the tag for Marcus. Mm -hmm. Bentley's come to have a look. He has. Very interested. And that's Marcus's journaling square. Okay, so they're, they're the folding journaling cards. Yes. How many of those are there? There are six. No, they're not. So is there two in each signature? No, there's four in each signature, I think. I should really have done this before we started. So let's have a look. So there is two tags in each signature. Yep. Two postcards in each signature. Right. One. Two, three. Yeah. Four cards. It's four of these in each signature. Then. Right. Okay. So where were we? Oh, we were there. Come back to the centre. Mm-hmm. And we have some more. Little cards, the large ones to go in the frames. Have you got the frame there, Mike? Yeah, that would fit just nice, wouldn't it? Oh, it would be nice, that, yeah. Nice little collection. I love these. I just think they're so dinky, these little cards. They're great, great for writing stuff on and keeping notes, keeping things private as well, because you can fold them up and yes. hide it on the inside. Yes, you can. And we've got another one of the tags. So George Jacobson. Cool. So three signatures in this journal. Yes. Rather, rather than the five that you've done. Five. The yes. So three signatures in this one, and there's still the ten. Not the ten. Um, there's. What do we say? Pages, leaves. Leaves. There are pages. There's twenty in each one, or is it? There's twenty. So sixty. Sixty sides to write on. Right. That's right, isn't it? To. 120. 120, yeah. Yes, 30, <laughs> 60, 120, yes. Yeah. 120 sides to write on. It's, there's a lot. There's a lot. There is a lot in this. I mean, I just love the characters and the little tags. Mm. Some of it's a little bit bizarre, but we, we like the bizarre. And then at the back, as you come to the back, you've got Have a Safe Carriage Ride Home. Excellent. And more tickets. Hope you enjoyed the show. And then there are three more tickets in the back. Marcus, uh, Mr. Jacobs, George Jacobson, and the uh, automaton. The lady automaton. Yeah. 
So they're on the back there, I've still got, they're just tucked into there. Cool, so you've got journaling tags, you've got journaling cards, That's... but you've also got postcards. Yeah. So the 46 size postcards, and you've also got the tickets. Plus there's all the different tuck spots. You've got the corner tuck spots, you've got the larger tuck spots, and you've got the little mini envelope tuck yes, spots I have. as well. Yep. I'm surprised you can actually close this journal because there's that much in it. Well, it is a little, on oh, inside back cover as well, we have of course you've got to have your of course. studio mark and then there's um, the rather rather lovely I can never watch she's called Patricia Beresford <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the, the, it is very very weighty and I just wanted to carry the Victorian feel through from the cover like an old poster on a wall mm. um, and then all the pages of course they're all They've all got the print on them, which shows all the like, like trees, paper, and old. And of course, they've, they've all been oven dried again. I oh yeah, they're, they're all been, crinkly, crinkly. They're all, they're all lovely wrinkly. Oh, they are. Should I take the postcards out and put everything out so we can see what there is, or do you think we're, we're clear already? Go on then, let, just so we can okay. see exactly how much so, what they're actually getting in there. Yeah, because there is a lot in this. So we have three tickets. Uh huh. I'll just move it to this side so I can take all the pieces out. Oh, we forgot about those. We did. So there's actually more than what we thought. There is. Move that down a little bit. Have you put them in, in shot for me, Mike, please? Thank you. There is a lot in, well, there's always a lot in my journals, in our, in our journals, rather. There's the postcards. Yep, you just put them down okay. and, I'll, and I'll sort them into their into their particular types. There we are. I mean, they can go anywhere in the in the journal. To be honest, of course. I often put them in the put them in a particular way. Have you missed anything there? No. Nope. But I think I like that. What I like about this journal is all the different shapes. Yeah. Different shapes, different cards, different things to write on. There's definitely a lot to go at. There is a, a very large. I mean, it's, it hasn't got as many pages as the big one, but I've put in a lot. Well, I think sometimes those those other larger journals can be a bit daunting, a bit, a bit cumbersome as well. This yes. one's not quite so heavy to use. It's, I think, more convenient to carry with you because of the the size of it. Yeah. He's chewing away on a little chew stick there. Has he just found something there? He has, yeah. Just brought it up with him. <laughs> it just keeps going, does this? It, it does. I know some of the characters repeat twice. Well, yeah. The, the, the ideas that, that you, they're, they're my, they were my favourite characters <laughs> that repeat twice. The postcards don't repeat, though. So if I look, I think. No, we're not there yet. And there's more. Yeah, there is. Jiminy Cricket, unless you're English, you wouldn't know who he was. There we go. And one of those. And to finish off, some more of those. Some more of the tickets. Brilliant stuff. So, we have. Right, so you've got six of the entrance tickets. I think I love these. Yes. So, six of those. The, what we call little, the, the tall bookmark cards so the six of those they're all different again so brilliant and again you can write on the backs oh yeah curious wonderful and strange mm -hmm. yeah they've, they've all got the characters on them there yep the journaling tags which there is six of and again it spaces on the back all of the names on the back fantastic I, I love the I love the brickwork it's great this is absolutely wonderful. And then we've got the postcards. So again, if you just want to flick through the postcards yeah. in, and then is there anything on the back on those ones? Yeah, the, ba the backs of them are I'm off, the, off, off the screen then, sorry. On the backs we have... Again, you've got the... Vintage graph, yep. graph paper. The graph paper. Perfect I love bullet, them. I just love those. Perfect bullet journaling. I love those. I'd like to do some t-shirts with these on Well, why not? <laughs> well, why not? 
Then we have the cards themselves, the fold, so foldable there's a, cards. There's a dozen of these. Yeah, there is. So you've got your automatic human, you've got the Countess, George, Gabrielle, Sir Charles, Marcus, Patricia, Cressida, and then we have we have multiples of obviously my favourite characters. Yeah, brilliant stuff. So there is a lot in it. Do you know what this reminds me of? What? Harry Potter esque. It is kind of Harry Potter esque. When they went over to France. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. kind of old. I can't remember what they called it. I can't remember either. The, is it Circus Arcanus? It was. Very much like that. Uh, the reason I've enjoyed doing this is because all the typography is all very Victorian and it is my thing. Yes. I mean, the cards, how pretty. They're great. I mean, I love the brickwork. I love the fact that the po they look like the posters on a wall. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as you're walking down the street, you'd see these faded, torn, ripped posters for these such events, for these theatre events. Oh, yeah. Up on the wall, which is great. So you've got all your cards, your postcards. I call them bookmarks, but they're not. <laughs> your tags. Your tickets. And then you have the book itself. The book itself. Fantastic stuff. Definite, definite cram packed full. I love doing this. I have to say, this is one of my favourites because I like the Weird and Wonderful. I like the Victoriana. I love the typography mm. on it, which was, is my thing. And I'm just glad to share it with you. So I hope you've enjoyed Mr. Bentley wabbling his ears there. So I hope you've enjoyed watching Ian flick through this Theatre of Curiosities handmade journal. Um, obviously, it's for sale. It is. There are five on the website. Right. So on, only five. Only five. Okay. Only five on the website. So <laughs> if you feel feel the need or the urge to, to better your bookshelves, please feel free. Get in there quick. That's all from me for now. I'll see you again next Tuesday. Absolutely. So don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to our, our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. Thank you very much for helping me today, Mike. You're very welcome. Bye for now. Bye for now. Should we fade back to black and white? Oh, I think so. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.